Since being fired from WWE, Kenta Kobashi found himself working odd jobs, including mo-capping. But that wasn't enough, so he continued working the indies. On the indies, he's mostly booked to win matches as his name value from the WWE carried on, with a periodic loss in triple threat matches and multi-mans. But that wasn't enough for Kenta Kobashi. He wanted to do something bigger. Can his career pick up again? Can he find his way back to the WWE? We'll find out in this next episode. Hello everyone, welcome to the episode 4 of Kenta Kobashi's My Rise in WWE 2K23 and we just got fired. Yeah, we pushed Shawn Michaels down the stairs. I think, yeah, it's, it's a mess. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I will think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, Who's this up, Jack? Morning, sunshine. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you oh, throw no. your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? I'll allow it. Oh, no. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months. I knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This is a long this really storyline. Isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting on. Who is this guy? Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up. Be everything oh, no. I know you can be and show WWE what they're missing. <sighs> you're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you. Every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Who is this guy? Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Cat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me. Oh, God. Anyway, so. We're back on the Indies. Gotta work our way back up. Cat's filling the documentary. Tavish. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. How did we meet? He couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. 
No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. Now, is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Sean Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system. Oh, great. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. But at least it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Great. Prove to me you're ready to wear the wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think <laughs> you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. All right, we're going to the UK for a UK rules match. Leeds, England. How are you feeling? Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules challenge. Oh. As in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one. But here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up. You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So he so tricked us. No backing out now. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks the situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament, especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. Who's this Jack? Adrian Buck. Beat up Adrian Buck, shall we? This Jag has no chance. How's he doing? This is two out of three falls, too. Ah. 
Call me all you want, buddy. is sleeping all right so we won one match look who wore the wig <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more it wasn't bad i guess actually kind of fun well your next opponent is gonna be tougher but the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone and if you manage to win the match even better you have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pint. Nice blacks. So how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Of course he is. All right, so the next guy we're facing, Trent Shaw. Just gotta like beat him. Oh, Superman four. Covered. Beat up his arms. And leg. Yeah, hit one of these in the bush. On his knee, why is this on his knee? It's gonna sweep every day back with me, but anyway, we're gonna brain bust. Ah, he said he was tougher. This guy wasn't tougher, he was a jobber. And again, most of these jags are just fodder for me to get over. My booking fee is insanely high. Why is in his gear? Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? Let me guess. The fans at the bar wanted pictures with you in it. No, but it's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match. He can't compete in the finals. So, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Oh, God. Seriously. Well, we couldn't send the fans home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides, some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. Congrats. So what do you say? You versus me, British rules, made the best, fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. All right. Let's do this. So legendary Tavish steps into the ring. This bloke has no chance. Tavish is still strong as hell. Tavish is not going easy on us. The legendary Tavish. Attack his knees.
Attack his arm. Attack everything. That sneaky bastard. All right. Tavish goes up. Tavish comes up. Oh, he kicked out of the brain buster. Wow. That's one fall. Oh my god, he's just beating me up now. I kicked out our Scottish screwdriver. Oh, Tavish. Tavish. Got a submission hold. Near fall. I'm gonna toss around Tavish a little more, huh? Tavish is not going down easy. Oh no, the rope! Come on. Still kicking out. Damage doesn't want to die. Fall or something. Yeah, champion. Up there well we conquered britain now we got chosen i don't know who this guy is but that's our next storyline that we're going with so uh if you like the video please like and subscribe and i'll catch everyone on the next episode where we go where the locks career takes them so yeah